Well, here we are. Okay, Google. Pause. Sorry if that activated anybody's. Okay, Google. Pause. Anyway, so here we are. Actually, I got to cover up this turbo before I show you. But um, been a while since we made a video or did anything. Just trying to find tires. We get the autocross. Yada 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 yada. Got this new EQT sensor on. Uh, five bar sensor. Got a tune update. Car wasn't running too right. Didn't all change. Something, something. I don't know. Started making a noise in the head. Didn't like it. Um, tried to fit around with a couple of things. It wasn't the same noise that it was before, which I got to show you guys. I should have pulled out the camera to show you guys the noise I was hearing. That way you guys could, could feel. But anyway, I'm going to cover up this turbo. But I'm about to take the cam cover off. And uh, I suspected something like a one of these rockers or, or something is what I think it is. Um, we're about to find out. I'm going to pop this baby off. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I got the cams locked and all this. Here, I'll show you. Just let me cover up. The all right. So here we are. We got terrible lighting, but cams are locked in. All that jazz. Got all the parts here in the, in the drawer. And we're just about, I got the proper untorquing and torquing sequence up but high pressure, high pressure fuel pump all that stuff's out of the way and we're just gonna eat this baby off real quick see what we find hopefully it's something simple or nothing I'd rather it be something simple than nothing because otherwise I did this for nothing but um, I guess we'll find out I'm really like this freaking close I'm just parting this car out I found a TTRS not too far away that I really, really, really like, really want. I already got a decent offer on my Jeep and I'd part this out and get that and have some money for go fast parts off the bat. Wouldn't even do much with it. And I can get about 500 wheel out of it, easy stock block, stock turbo, stock everything. Really just do, I mean, intercooler down pipes, tune intake. My rear end will swap right over. I throw the Haudex in there too since it's already tuned. Uh, all the Brookline stuff, sway bar back there. I don't know if these brakes would work, but it has like the nice like ceramic brakes on it. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't even really have to do any much rate reduction. It's like 3,200 pounds on the TTRS, which I mean, it is 300 pounds more than this, but I mean, for the five cylinder and actually having a coupe and it's yellow, I mean, mm, mm, mm. anyway, let's get this thing off, find out. Well, this made myself look like a total idiot. This was pointless. There's nothing broken. A um, little bit of scoring on the cams. Uh, I mean, they did a, a little bit of metal did go through the motor when uh, that spool valve went bad. I mean, it's nothing I can feel on my nail. It's like just visual. But yeah, I don't know. And now I can't get the cams to sit back down properly. As we're looking at, uh, I'm about to scrape off all the the nastiness real quick and then figure out like i can get this one to sit right and then this one doesn't want to go into place it's like one or the other here it's like playing Ugh, it's annoying i need to figure this out Ugh. well guys i lied um take a look here and this thing's not gonna want to focus yeah see that chunk taken out there there's chunks taken out there. That whole thing's gone. Those ones have chunks missing. Yeah, no bueno. You can see. This one's got a pretty deep groove. So does this one, so. She's done. And, um, I don't know when this video will be out. I'm a little, well, say more than just a little upset. Um, the head's basically just going to go in the trash. I'd assume the bottom end's still good. I'll pull that out and get that up. No, I need to go buy an engine stand. I'll probably put it on stand, inspect everything, 
and just keep it because there's a project that I want to do down the road and this would be perfect for it as the new head but uh yeah I'm uh I guess this is it um it's the top pin comment will be what parts are left um I did make a Facebook like page for the channel Brushwood Productions look that up on on Facebook uh, part out list there um, and just DM me through there if you want anything I got plenty of things I got mounts um, a dog bone stuff I'm keeping and the Verk line and Haldex I'm keeping and pretty much everything else can go fuel pump fuel system um, keep the battery and like the washer caps and like brake cap and stuff fuel cap but I mean, headlights, bumper, grills, hatch, seats, wheel, window switches, whatever you need, shifter, the dog box trans needs to go. That'll be like the first big thing. Aluminum subframe, arms, um, wool wood, big brake kit, the wheels, BC coilovers, um, not the extreme ones. What else? I don't know. Intake. Racing line this, racing line that. I don't know what Ed's gonna say about this turbo. I'll probably just have to send that back to them. Pretty upset. Euro code braces. All right, picking up where we left off. Excuse my shirt being off. It is very warm outside. So I decided to do a thing. And uh, well, it's already been done. Motor's out of the car. Transmission's out of the car. Pulled it out last night. Uh, still can't show you guys the turbo, but uh, that's off. I got a guy coming right now to get the Remus exhaust off the car. I'm about to pull that out. I did this all on the trailer. Um, I'm actually taking the car. Someone's buying it this weekend. They're buying a shell. I'm taking it to their shop. We're going to pull all the suspension off, which I've already sold or keeping and uh the brakes a bunch of stuff most of the stuff's called for um at the end of this video i'll let you guys know what is left but intercool's gone motor mount's gone front subframe's gone keeping the arms keeping the whole rear end including the brakes front brakes are gone downpipe's gone uh don't have anybody for the seat yet i haven't told anybody about the seat yet or the harnesses here hanging uh, i got somebody for all the shifter stuff all the fueling still available as of right now intake and uh, all that stuff's still available for right now. What else? Um, yeah, just little bits and pieces here and there. I don't know if I can use the battery yet, but got crackheads across the street hollering. But yeah, this is where we are. This is what's going down. Hopefully, this weekend I'll be getting a new car. Uh, just so conveniently, where I'm dropping the car off, the seller asked me not to tell anybody, so or the buyer, I mean. Um, thought, yeah, but. Around that area is where I'm getting this car to, hopefully. So, trading the Jeep, selling the trailer with the car, and uh, yeah, hopefully. So, not really much to show you guys, but I figured I'd give you a little update to this video. I wanted to kind of like do time lapses and stuff and record, but I've just been jobbing away. It's Tuesday, you know, obviously, yesterday was Monday, I got the motor and stuff out, and I got a bunch of things to box up and sell. All the cobs gone, I still have four and five bar sensors as well. Uh, intake manifold not called for yet. I'm gonna try and hopefully sell that with the fuel system Do like a whole whole kit there. So I'm just buy the whole uh, 5 through thread pump 925 cc injectors with fuel rail um, I could take the sensors too and the manifold What else comes with that? I don't have a flex fuel sensor, but the pumps already in the basket ready to go um, Yeah, oh, I gotta get out the p3 gauge still my boy Michael's getting that send him his manifold back since I didn't get to run it so his girlfriend also has a golf R so she can use that manifold in the future but she wants that boost gauge so anyway I'm gonna get back to work I'll give you guys an update at some point in this video I'm gonna continue to sweat my ass off for the rest of the day all right y'all you see the car back there no hatch on it sold that to a dude near Baltimore last night and we were about four hours north of there like I said the person who's buying it doesn't want to be known yet at least um, I'll let you guys know in the future but 
I'm gonna get like the last little clip of the car here before I get to where I'm going. Um, it's a sad day. We get in here, get the car on the lift, get all the suspension and stuff off. We're keeping the work line stuff, rear brakes, um, and all the front end stuff. And the coilovers is sold to a few buddies of mine. Um, I got like like track slag back there and a bunch of other shifter parts and catch can and this and that so it is what it is i got an appointment today to test drive a car hopefully i like it we'll see oh there's my turn that's my signal see you guys all right lads and gents i meant to take some video and stuff of the ttrs but i didn't I didn't buy it. It was yellow. It was gorgeous. I should be able to post a picture here. Um, just couldn't get the deal I wanted. Plus, I had like the carbon brakes, which I don't want. I want steel brakes. Um, I had this silver trim inside. I wanted carbon or just black. And uh, it was like from Canada. Like bought it at an auction. And when I popped the hood, the airbox wasn't even bolted down. And there was like some scratches, like some real nasty scratches on like the lower valence area, and like some rock chips and some really crappy like if there was a scratch on the back bumper that looked like they just like put some yellow like gunk over it to make it so you wouldn't see the scratch but it was like real bumpy and nasty looking um at least i got to drive it and i liked it a lot but not for the price that they wanted so i'm really looking for a blue ttrs and uh yeah but as you see i don't know really what happened to the motor i think something either from a blown turbo or the oil control school valve things, the metal from that made its way into the head, messed up those spots. I was pricing out a new head plus porting and new cams. I go ahead and do timing chains again. It was just way more money than what I wanted to spend and then possibly still get the same result. And uh, yeah, so I was just like, I kind of like, I wasn't like full on ready to part out and I posted it in one of my group chats with some friends and he was like, I'll PayPal you right now for the brakes. Then I do was like, I'll PayPal you right now for the uh, coilovers and the shifter and like a, a handful of other things. I was like, you know what, I'll sell it. And so things went all around. It was like that happened on a Sunday and then by Tuesday I had a buyer for the shell, bare shell. I rolled it up there with suspension and no hood no hatch no motor no trans no seats no seat belts no head unit no shifter no nothing and we put it up on a lift pulled all the suspension off and i took that to somebody over in new jersey they bought a bunch of the parts i kept the whole rear end um how to axles brakes all the work line stuff i kept the tie or not tie rods i kept the uh what are they called uh Sway bar and links. I got the rear sway bar as well. Um, now the TTRS rear end can't use the golf diff and stuff, so I will have that for sale. If anybody needs a Heldex, it's already tuned by United Motorsport. Let me know. Um, but uh, at least I have all the Verkline stuff. Whether I get a Mark 8 or a TTRS, which right now I'm really leaning towards the Mark 8, honestly. I'm just gonna hopefully be out in the next couple of months. And I already have a rear end for it. Um, you know, EQT is going to be dropping stuff. Shop Dap's going to be dropping stuff. IE is going to be dropping stuff. So it does seem like intercoolers are going to fit. Um, there's a couple different things. I want that drift mode. I hate the soft touch buttons, but um, you know, we will get dual piston calipers. Uh, looks like vented and drilled front rotors. Some real nice seats. The updated motor does seem pretty promising. It's different rods. Um, I don't remember if the pistons are different too. It's, it seems to be stronger rods and uh, a bigger turbo and what else? Oh yeah, and that whole fancy new rear end where you can do drift mode and all that. I don't really like the way the front looks. I like the way the back looks, but I haven't seen one in person so I don't know. But I know I want an R and uh, I think getting the new Mark 8 R obviously in blue would be just to keep my, my you know, the way the channel is rolling, going. That way, blue golf R to a blue golf R. Um, not getting a manual this time. I already dropped, you know, almost ten thousand dollars on a built manual transmission, and uh, I'm gonna have to go to the dark side. I'm gonna have to get the SG with the next car. Regardless, I really, really, really want the TTRS. Unless I find one in blue, like I said with steel brakes, 
black interior, no red stitching, all that stuff. For the price that I want, which is basically at a little bit under 60, um, which is like nearly impossible. They're all going for like 65 to 72. Um, yeah, I think I just might hold off on the golf and take all this money I'm getting from parting out the car, put it into AMC, GameStop, double, triple, quadruple, 100x my money, and hopefully I'll be able to just buy, or maybe I might be able to buy a Mark 8 and a TT at the same time. Who knows when the stocks blow up, but, um, yeah, that's all I got for now. Basically, what it came down to is, it's been over a year now, last September is when the trans went, and I haven't gotten, the car has been quote unquote done since, I don't know, March, January, February, March-ish, and I've barely gotten any seat time on the car, so. That to me just shows, you know, I'm just wasting time and money, and I'd rather be in a car that I can, even if it's slower, and all that, like I'd rather be in something that I can just drive and enjoy. Drive therapy is the best therapy, and I haven't been getting any freaking therapy, so. Um, yeah, I'll post the first comment, I'll pin and let you guys know what's left. I just posted up the fuel system for sale on the MQB page. Um, I still have a handful of other stuff to go, but all the suspension's gone. I'm hopefully getting a down payment on the trans tomorrow from a buddy. Uh, I'm gonna keep the motor for now. Cause like the rods and pistons, if anything, are good and those are worth good money. And if I get a TTRS, they use the same rods and pistons. Even though these are 83 mil instead of 82.5, so I can't, unless I bore the block, which I wouldn't want to do. Um, yeah, at least I have four, I need to find one more Tuscan rod, and then four pistons and rings, and uh, bearings, and I would have, you know, a car good for the run nines <laughs> with the TTRS, so. We'll see. Um, we'll see what just pops up, but for now, just selling everything. Putting the money into the stock market and we'll see where it goes. Hope you guys don't hate me. Hopefully you guys still watch the channel. Really, really leaning towards getting a Mark 8 though. It'll be all fresh content. Everyone's gonna be buying Mark 8s. Should be, you know, a good amount of people watching videos and making content for that car. When it drops as, you know, the TT, it's expensive to do anything and they've been out for a while. I mean, even though they look great, they sound great. Um, they're really not just that exciting to me. Especially I watching other people's content with it, and I'm like, this is just, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. It's a sad day, car's gone. Even sold the trailer with it. <laughs> sold the, the shell and the trailer together. So, uh, yeah, I'm sad. And look at her, she, she, she gorgeous. But she will live in a good life. The new owner of the car doesn't want to be known yet, so whenever that news comes out, I'll let you guys know, make some video and all that, but. We'll get to edit in this video and back to football. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the football.